All right, cool. So this is Travis from Horror Movies Uncut speaking with the man, Mr. Jerry Pyle. Do you have a nickname? We were just talking about this. Like pile driver? I need one. Maybe, that, maybe that's it. I need one. Is that one. what she calls you? Is that maybe, what she said? Maybe. Pile driver. I pile like driver. that. I'm All into right. that. All right. So tell tell the world who you are and the film that you're here at Texas Frightmare promoting. Okay. My name is Jerry Pyle. I directed a movie called Service starring Dina Lynn Thompson and James Babson. Uh, it's a home invasion movie. I'm really excited about it. It's short. It's exciting. It's fun. Come check it out. Okay, so we've already talked to Dana. We got right. her review up on Which the, was awesome. the interview up. She's great people, but yeah. we're here to talk about the man behind the camera right okay. now. Okay. Okay, so first and foremost, how dare you make a movie involving a woman bringing her fucking child to work, <laughs> wearing the shit that she was wearing? <laughs> so, okay. obviously, still, you know where I'm going with this. Okay. Where did that concept and idea come from? Well, it, it actually... Um, in my mind, she uh, uh, she's uh, there's a deadbeat dad yeah. essentially that forgot to pick yeah, her up. Right, or right. There's a reason why she's there. She Which you can see when she comes in that look on her she's face. She's super stressed out. She's late for work, and she's she has her daughter with her, which is not supposed to happen ever. Right. Um, and I'm hoping that's clear, very clear from the get go. Um, otherwise, it's kind of creepy and weird. But mm -hmm. uh, anyway, so she gets to work, and the actual genesis of the, of the idea was based around the guy in the wheelchair, interestingly. He's kind of the, you know, he doesn't have any lines in the movie, but uh, but he's definitely was the first image I had when mm -hmm. I first started thinking of the movie, mm -hmm. uh, was the guy in the wheelchair. Okay, okay. So, in the film, um, there's a lot of, it's like I was explaining with Dina, there's a lot of layers to it. Okay. Um, now, you yourself came out and said, you know, hey, it's got a kind of home invasion film to it, uh -huh. kind of a slasher film to it. Yeah. But when you're out on the street and you're promoting your film, what's one of the main things that you're always telling people of why they should see service? Uh, that's a good question. Um, I ask, that's all I ask. You know, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm always trying to, like, figure out the best way to promote something or, like, what are people looking for, what's the... What's the latest trend in the I mean, in we the live film? in Twitter world, so you got 140 characters exactly. to get you somebody interested. Exactly, you got to keep interested. it short. So I always say home invasion, because right. that's like the easiest way to present right. it. But it's actually a little more than that, I mm -hmm. think. There's a lot happening there. It's a social worker nightmare, yeah, is what it is. Exactly. There, there, there's like a you know workplace horror, there's mm -hmm. mental illness involved, there's handicap involved, there's, um, you know, there's sex involved. It's meant to be a little sexy as well. Um, but at, you know, at its core, it's like a home invasion uh, kind of movie. I okay. Think. Now you have to remind me of the name of the gentleman who's the the kind of um, the, the, the mentally the, ill. Yeah, guy. the mentally ill. Uh, guy. His name's James Babson. James Babson. Yeah. yeah. Amazing in service. He's great. Yeah. Um, Dina said it was a pleasure working with him. How did you get him involved in the project? So James and I met each other in Prague, Czech Republic. We both lived there. Um, you guys out there visiting Yarmir Yager or something? <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, no. Uh, you didn't think a brother knew anything about yeah, hockey, did dude, you? Way to go, man. <laughs> and he's Czech, so right. you're on, man. No, we were both living there, actually. James was an actor living there, and I was like... Um, I don't know what I was over there, but I was just hanging out, and we uh, we had mutual friends. So I met him through there, and I, I saw him in action a few times, working on movies over there. Uh, he was in a weird short about this guy that lived in uh, an elevator, um, and I saw him. I, mean, I was on set for that, and I saw him, uh, you know, acting, and he's an amazing actor. I was like, I really yeah. want to work with this guy someday. So cut to like I don't know, like probably ten years later, mm -hmm. we're both in L.A. Mm -hmm. and uh, and I was like, I got to get a hold of this guy and figure out if we can work together. So okay. he actually, James was, is the reason why the movie exists. Like I knew I wanted to work with him. And awesome. I, I figured out a movie to make that happen. Okay, and Dina, and, the, and then the young lady's name in the film, the the, the young girl. Um, uh, Riley Martinez. Riley, yeah, Riley Martinez. She's going places. <laughs> Future star. Yeah. Um, Dina was telling me how great it was to work with her. She's great. Um, and how she's still a child at heart and the minute the camera's off, Absolutely. but then she seems like this consummate professional. She really the is. The minute that it's going on. How she, is it working with her? She has like a sort of interesting um, uh, kind of wisdom about her. She's such a young person, but I really felt like, I mean, for starters, like being on set with a, with such a young person in a movie like that just kept it really light uh -huh. and and sort of like she like for instance she uh she was she took uh some of the um some of the cleaning equipment that dina was using in the film and was like going around cleaning people's shoes and like equipment <laughs> and stuff like dusting off things so the whole day she was like spending time you know having fun and keeping the set, set light so that was that was a really great thing on set and then in the film i think um she just has an interesting presence 
and I think as she gets older, I'm I'm just you can recognize it. I'm just waiting for her. To, yeah, I'm just yeah. waiting to see you know what the next thing is for her. You ready so. for that Throwback Thursday picture to come out when exactly. she's in her twenties? Like, so. remember when I was in service? Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna ride on her coattail. So far. awesome, awesome, man. Well, you know how much we enjoy the flick because we absolutely we've, we've I appreciate done nothing that. but tell people how great it is. And I really appreciate it. So, that. can you tell people where they can find it, and also where's the next place that it's going to be showing? Okay, so the next place it's going to be showing is Seattle Crypticon at the end of the month in May. It's showing again at the end of June at uh, at um, Days of the Dead Indie. Mm -hmm. uh, if you want to learn I more... that's June 26th through 29th, Yep, that's it. Yep. I think it's showing on the 27th. Okay. Um, if you want to find out more about it, come to the Facebook page, facebook.com slash service short. Um, there you can find a poster and a trailer and all kinds of fun information about the film. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And then last but not least, Jerry, uh, is there anything else that we should know about that's going on with you that you're working on? Uh, that you would like to promote? If it's all under wrap stuff, hey, it's fine. I'm going to find out eventually anyway because I'm coming yes. up to Kansas City. I'm just going to be in your basement. Right on, uh, man. <laughs> so just let me know. But, yeah, is there anything you want to promote that you're working on? Any projects you got coming up in the future? I'm, I'm trying to figure that out myself. So. Okay, okay, okay. He is still <laughs> The answer searching. is yes, but, yeah, uh, uh, it's all about which one, you know. Okay, awesome, <laughs> awesome. Well, Jerry, man, thank you so much for your time, brother. Thank you, Travis. Thank you for stopping by.